Hi, my name is George Bryce Gonzalez, and I am a starving artist living here in Burlington, Vermont. I like putting a bunch of different elements together that you don't usually see together, like pottery and graffiti, or uh, you know, archaeological uh, writings put together on vessels, and you know, archaeology is an, you know another fascination of mine. So I try to bring that that passion for archaeology that uh, into my pottery. If archaeologists, for example, found our work 10,000 years ago, you know, uh, in, in ruins, I think that they could have a much more subjective understanding of what our lives and our, what our reality was like. Art is, in essence, a, another form of communication, just like in a lot of cultures, have used uh, art and different icons and symbols to speak outside of language, reach that you know level of understanding and level of spirituality in a sense. There's so much objectivity in our culture that art kind of creates a balance. And it's that balance that's really necessary. Art is an essential part of that, creating a balance between the subjective and objective. I uh, really like uh, working in Raku. It's one of the processes that I really like to uh, go back to. Pretty meditative. Uh, spontaneous process and I really you know never really know what the outcome is going to be like it's always surprising. Raku is a process that has been around for about a thousand years it was invented by accident by a, a Japanese uh, potter who was in such a hurry to uh, finish his pieces that he took the pieces out while they were red hot and that resulted in a really unique effect and you take the pieces out with tongs and throw them in a pit or a garbage can full of newspaper and it starts a fire and then you close the you can up or close the pit up and what happens is the pieces are so red hot that they want oxygen from somewhere they, they're burning the newspaper but you've closed the lid up so it suffocates the pieces so what happens is the fire the en that entity of fire takes oxygen out of the glaze and replaces it with carbon molecules. And that carbon is pretty much metal, so that results in a metal luster, metal finish. And uh, as much as I have done it, and as much as a lot of people have done it all their lives, you really never know what's gonna come out. It's always a surprise, uh, you know, which is pretty much what I love about it. I am kind of manifesting these pieces from fire, from earth, um, you know, creating these things out of, out of this void, you know. I mean, there's many times that I create art and I say to myself, where did this come from? Our expression of, in, in the form of art is a mystery to ourselves that we are communicating things that are so outside of language that, in essence, it's coming from a deeper place than any language can come from. I think it's the job of artists to express our perception of all, everything around us, whether that be uh, our uh, perceptions of society, or perceptions of reality in general, or perceptions of uh, history. Hopefully that can give insight to others on a new perspective of looking at reality. And if I could accomplish that, then I am an accomplished artist.